one, charge! All right, right into the autonomous mode. 50-52 looks a little hung up on the barrier of the moat. 54-31 with a shot. It goes just to the right of the goal. 624 with a high goal. And 4587. That's a double high goal autonomous. A little that's history good. here. 5431 and 624 have met before in eliminations. And that time it turned in 5431's favor. This time 624 is looking to come back. 4587 and 3735 were alliance partners of the Lone Star Regional this year, where they won that regional. 624 with another high goal. And 4587 breaks 5052 free from the moat. We'll see if 5052 can drive themselves off. 5431 takes aim at the high goal and shoots, but is unable to sink the goal. They'll try again in a few seconds. 5431 with another boulder crossing over to the low bar and getting ready to score another high goal. Some solid defense from the Klein bots knocks 624 around as they shoot. However, on the blue side of the field, two undefended shots both miss. Jersey Voltage sinks another high goal from the outer works, nullifying the defense from 3735 who switches targets to 624. 624 takes aim, but it ricochets off the bottom of the goal. Meanwhile, 5431 has hoarded uh, quite a few balls onto their side of the courtyard. They shoot a ball, but it just it goes out the other side. I don't, I don't know if that counts. All right. Jersey Voltage shoots it once again, but it bounces off the side of the goal. 624, ready to take aim, is hassled by 3735. Even if Red Alliance has the advantage now, they're going to need 50-52 to move in order to ensure that they get that challenge and all those points. 624 recovers another ball, but the defense of 37-35 might be too much. They're able to break free and sink a high goal. 54-27 crosses the moat despite many other teams having trouble. With only 30 seconds left, it's going to be interesting to see how, when 37-35 comes off of defense and helps their team on the batter. Meanwhile, 50-52 looks to still be not moving. With six high goals scored for the Red Alliance, their tower strength is currently at four. The Blue Alliance has yet to score in the high goal. 54-27 appears to not be moving. Oh, they just scored. Never mind. And they all got onto the batter. Red Alliance. Oh, 50-52 is on. 4587 right. is not. It looks like all six robots may be on the batter. We'll get the referee's final call on that. All right, we're going to see who's on the batter and who isn't when these swords come up, and that could determine the outcome of this match. There were also a number of penalties that happened during a defensive play trying to stop the alliances from scoring and we'll see how those play in as well. All right, looks like our scores are in. It is the Red Alliance with the victory, 147 to 100. Neither alliance was able to get the capture, but both got the breach for an equal 20 point bonus. Now that is a win for the number three seed. They only need one more to move on. And that's the first of our round of quarterfinals. We're about to start it again. And remember, because we have four robots on each alliance, the alliances have to play the robot that did not play last time. So you're going to see a couple new robots come out onto this field that were not here before. All right, looks like we've got the team numbers in. Let's go ahead and meet the teams. Again, this is our number one seeded alliance in red and our upset minded number eight seed in blue. Red has already won one match. If the number one seed alliance wins, they will be going on. 
If blue wins, then we will go to a third match. Let's quickly meet the teams. Team 148. The Robo Wranglers.